Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at HP's Control Center software for their Omen, Omen gaming lineup. And in this video here particularly, we're looking at the HP Omen Max 16, new for 2025. And we want to see what HP's Omen Gaming Hub brings to us new for 2025. So let's jump right in here. So all right, so we get this launched by clicking on the HP Omen Gaming Hub Diming button. I take some moment or two here to launch up. The first time you launch this software, it'll take a little bit longer, so be patient. It does take a lot of time to initialize, but thereafter, subsequent launches are actually pretty uh, pretty easy and straightforward. All right, once we land in here, we have a few, set, few uh, things on the left-hand navigation panel. So we'll start with the home tab here, and the home with the landing, we see a few different things here. We've got the device up front, so this is under my gear, and we see Omen Max 16 is the page here that we jump to. This is called the System Vitals page. We'll come back to this stuff in just a moment, but you know, just to know that there's a few different ways of getting around, and you also hear, see here down at the bottom that Omen Max is the current, the only recognized device from the HP Omen Gaming Hub. So you see that device represented here as well. You can also expand this and click System Vitals to get to the exact same screen. In addition to that, we have a few other options on the Gaming Hub homepage. We've got some widgets here to give you some stats on CPU, GPU, and RAM. We've got Omen AI Beta, which is new for 2025. We'll talk about, talk about that in just a moment. We've got a recent games tile here, a top deals tile. HP has a store in partnership here with Fanatical. It is co-branded or curated for Omen Gaming by Fanatical. So if you like game discounts, if you buy games at cheap and steep discounts, this is a great place. And the fact that it's integrated into the Gaming Hub, I think it's actually a nice convenient feature to have. So let's go back here. We've got a gallery, and this is where you can get all of the uh, HP Omen Gaming Hub uh, wallpapers and community contributed stuff, direct stuff from HP and Omen itself for free. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. And then we have Booster, which is also new for 2025 with the Omen Gaming Hub. And this basically does is it cleans up all of the resources that are running in the background to ensure you can allocate maximum resources to game when you are playing them. Let's hop over to the performance tab and here's the new juicy stuff we want to talk about quickly. Omen AI was introduced at CES in 2025. It is currently in beta and it works a little bit differently than most other AI systems that you may have seen for optimizing games. What this does is it collects a lot of data around your hardware, your OS, your GPU, your game settings, which games you're running and submits them to HP. HP will compile a database across its legion of devices of Omen uh, and all of its other gaming brands. And from there, it will collect and compile a database to figure out which games run on which hardware at which particular settings, optimally giving you a certain targeted FPS. And then that data will be used to drive when you enable the uh, Omen AI, which comes by default, uh, by default uh, uh, disabled. That will actually enable and drive those game settings and automatically set them for you, optimizing the gameplay. So there's no mucking around with settings, going in there, trying different presets, turning settings on and off, and toggling them to try to get that FPS that you want. Now, currently, this is limited only to a few games. So HP says they've picked a selection of 50 games, or at least that's what they stated at CES. And all of those will be coming to Omen AI. But currently, the only ones that are launched as of this review are Counter-Strike 2 and League of Legends. You know, two games that I definitely don't play and I've really never played. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to demo that for you, which is uh, a sad state of affairs. But if you do click this Learn More button, it takes you to the Omen AI page here. And there's lots of frequently asked questions here. You can read through this. It is actually very interesting. The way, they, the way that they're doing it, I believe, is a very neat approach. Let's jump over to the Power and Thermal. So, new for this year with the Omen Gaming Hub is a new Unleashed mode. Uh, so, if we hop over here quickly to Performance Control under Omen. New for this year is the Unleashed mode, which gives us some additional control over performance. We'll talk about that in a little bit as well. So let's head back here and continue. We've got Fan Cleaner. Now with the HP Omen Max 16 for 2025, they've got really new designed, uh, you know, Vapor Chamber, which is very, very fantastic and so much coverage. Uh, but also as a result of that, got some really, really nice fans in there. And they're, drive they're driven at 6,000 RPM at max fan speed, which means they're going to pull a lot of air and they do generate a lot of airflow. But that means over time, you're going to get dust buildup in there 
and the fans in this PC, because of this fan cleaner technology, can actually be spun in reverse, which will basically use those fans themselves to expel that dirt and build up that would have accumulated over a period of time. We also have some overclocking controls, which is very interesting, considering with the Raptor Link generation in 2023, uh, most overclocking headroom was, you know, gone by the wayside. That silicon just didn't have a lot of room for any overclocking potential. So I'll be interested to see what Lunar Lake can do with overclocking. Perhaps that'll be a whole dedicated video on its own where we talk about performance tuning uh, overclocking and all of these other affairs finally we have graphics switcher here which basically allows us to toggle between uh, nvidia's optimus or using the uh, igpu of the cpu here the lunar lake on board then on the right hand side we've got optimizer booster i just alluded to is on by default finally we have a cleaner here which is similar to perhaps a xcc cleaner or a hard drive defragger it allows you to find all of the temporary and junk files on your pc and clean them in one go so that you can recover some much needed disk space all right that's it for the performance we also have an overlay so akin to pretty much every launcher now that has an overlay whether it's the Steam Launcher, whether it's GOG or whatever, uh, even Windows itself, Xbox, Game Bar, uh, there, and NVIDIA, the control panel itself, there's way too many of these in my opinion. However, HP also provides an overlay here, so if you don't prefer opening the Omen Gaming Hub software every single time, you can just launch your game, and using the Shift F2 key shortcut on your keyboard, you can toggle open the Omen Gaming Hub API, uh, overlay, and adjust many of the settings that you can from within performance controls here as well. A nice handy to have feature so thank you for that hp you've got it here you've also got a quick toggle button here as well at the top bar if uh, you wish to do it from there as i mentioned just a game store here curated by fanatical uh, my games library which basically scans all of the games you have on of your p on your pc and that also integrates which is new i believe for this year is omen gaming hub now integrates readily with geforce so that means you can play all of the geforce free to play games as well as your own geforce now catalog uh, right through the omen gaming hub so that's very nice to see and you can certainly pair all that stuff together you also see here that at the top under my games you have boost on which you can just Disable that by default if you don't like it uh, and you also have omen ai beta which is currently disabled because it is still in beta and it hasn't really launched and then deals here we've got some curated game discounts and sales you know take that for what it's worth under gallery here i i, I really like this section of the omen gaming hub if you like to customize your pc and you want to have just you know, a little bit of a splash on your desktop for your laptop you know and now and then and you want to swap it over this is a great place and some of these particularly the omen wallpapers are totally free and as you can see here you know i'm rocking a an omen gaming hub wallpaper on my desktop here and it looks absolutely fantastic so a nice feature to have i love that they do this i hope they continue to add to this and that other manufacturers take note from this as well of course, there's also a my page. You have to set up an Omen account, and you can access a lot of other services that way. But you know, I don't think you're missing any value if you don't do so. So I've opted not to do that. And of course, you can upload your own screenshots and wallpapers and contribute it to the community collection of wallpapers for the Omen Gaming Hub. Now let's go over to Optimizer. You've got the, as I mentioned, the booster and the cleaner. These are the two particular tools. If you click on the booster, you can go to the configure button here, see everything that could potentially be addressed when a booster is on when you launch a game. And then finally, cleaner here, you can click scan. It'll go through your hard drive, scan basically temp files and stuff that's, you know, junk data that can be removed for the most part safely without any uh, without any uh, a harm. And you can see here that we're going to recover about 1.8 gigabytes of space by doing that. So nice for HP to have included these utilities. Finally, we have an HP Light Studio, which is actually a separate application. And the reason this is important to mention is HP now owns HyperX. So if you have any of those HyperX accessories, or peripherals such as a webcam uh, a, a hyperx keyboard a mouse you know microphone what have you the omen light studio allows you to control across the ecosystem of hp devices that uh, you know that are gaming oriented for control and color synchronization for your rgb setup so nice to see that they've thought about that and that they've particularly kept this separate thank you very much for doing that otherwise omen gaming hub here would be just a bloatware fest all right, now let's get to the meat and potatoes here. So let's collapse all of these and we'll focus on the Omen Max 16. 
This is where you'll be spending the bulk of your time in terms of looking at what's happening with the stats or going in to see the performance uh, control and adjusting things for your PC. So first of all, in basic mode here, we just get some you know st stats about utilization of CPU, GPU, and RAM. And then you have these balanced performance control and custom overclocking controls. These basically just take you over to those particular tabs anywhere. They're just shortcuts. Uh, you also have an advanced mode here for your system vitals, which allows you to see core by core, which cores are boosting and to what uh, what clock rates, as well as temperatures and stuff on those clocks. You can see some particulars about the GPU as well, the RAM and the network, etc. If we go back to performance control now, uh, actually, let me just point out that there's also an I button here. If you click this, you'll get a lot more detailed information about the PC. It will include things like, for example, your uh, your serial number for this device. So I'm not going to be showing that here, but if you need detailed particulars about your RAM modules, their serial numbers and stuff like that, you can get a lot of that information through this system information page under the system vitals tab. Let's go over to performance control. So this is where you'll come in to control how much performance you're getting from your PC. And in the prior years, we had eco balance and performance were the only three options. New for 2025, as I mentioned earlier, is the unleashed mode. However, I believe there is some opportunity here for HP to collapse or consolidate this a little bit further because eco mode aside, and of course you have a switch here that you can toggle when you unplug the PC, it will automatically toggle into eco mode, which means it'll swap down to the iGPU to help preserve and prolong your overall battery life and of course you can toggle through these with function p as well pressing function p will allow you to see this beautiful little over uh, over screen display and i like the fact that you can even swap between eco and all the way up to unleashed no mode is being omitted from that a hotkey because in some PCs it will only do a certain mode depending on whether you're power mode or if you're uh, so if you're running on AC power or if you're running on battery life. So balance mode, performance mode, and unleash are really the ones that we're concerned about. And you can see here we've got that the fan cleaner technology. You can click you can uh, click on disable automatic fan cleaning if you want. By default, this is on. Leave it on. If you want to do it manually, you can force the fan clean on here, but it'll run it basically on a predetermined schedule. Leave it as is. I think it'll self-manage. So with balance mode, the only thing really we can toggle here is fan speed between auto and max. Max will boost us up to 6,000 RPM. Uh, quite no noisy. We'll talk about thermals, acoustic performance, you know, sound and heat in a separate dedicated video so please get subscribed and stay tuned for that and if you hop over to performance mode we get a new toggle here for power settings and with this we can adjust basically the dynamic boost that we're using or applying to that uh, gpu that's in this pc and of course we can control that battery drain here to ensure that we get prolonged battery life instead of the hypercharge or uh, quick charging so we don't actually degrade the battery much more quickly and if we go over to unleashed mode, well, now the power settings just expand a little bit further. We get PL1, PL2s, etc. that we can calibrate to adjust how much power is being pushed to that CPU. So if you're playing games mostly which are very GPU heavy, and you want to constrain your, your CPU, that Lunar Lake 2 Core Ultra 9 275HX, you can come in here and certainly do that. But as you can see here, by default, these figures are astronomical and they certainly do not need to be because it's not even possible for your CPU to continuously consume 240 watts in any laptop for that matter. All right, so as I mentioned, there is some room consolidation here. So as we step down from Unleash to Performance, we see we lose some of those CPU controls. And if we head down to Balance, we lose you know the power controls whatsoever. Uh, I believe all of that could just be one mode. I don't see you there's a need need for having all these specific modes it could just be called performance and to further complicate that matter we have an advanced performance tuning tab here so now if you mention if you remember a few moments ago i mentioned that new for this year is the ability to overclock well this is where overclocking lives so if you go under omen max 16 and advanced performance tuning you'll see here we've got cpu overclocking and we've got gpu overclocking as well now for cpu overclocking you can pretty much mess with all of these cores individually and you can also adjust per, per core voltages as well so hats off to hp they've really you know provided us uh, our cake and so that we can eat it too here all right and for gpu we get less controls here as usual we can offset the core uh, clocks or the memory clocks here by as many megahertz as we can to try to improve performance from that rtx 5080 that's in this pc 
then over to the next here or next tab here we've got lighting so this will address the don't the two zones of rgb lighting that are built into the omen max 16 for 2025 we have the per key rgb pudding style key keycaps keyboard and then we have the front rgb light bar here so by default these are linked or synced together so they get the same effects you can of course if you want unlink them and then individually address what kind of uh, controls you want to affect or you can turn it off as uh, altogether if you like as well and then we have a graphic switcher here this was also a toggle from the home screen advanced optimus selected here by default i would say leave it there unless you have a very specific reason to use integrated graphics uh, and of course if you click the open advanced optimus button we get this additional display mode here from nvidia uh, app which says automatic nvidia or optimus and i find it a little bit confusing here that we're already running advanced optimus which is advanced optimus version 2 by the way but it's still called advanced optimus for some reason and the in this large display mode here or laptop display mode selector that pops up from the nvidia control panel it just says optimus so it's a little bit confusing advanced optimus automatic select does that mean i'm in advanced optimus or am i not uh, but rest assured if you have this set to automatic and advanced optimus is enabled in the omen gaming hub you are running with the advanced optimus software so let's close this out we have a network booster here so you can see what else is kind of consuming your bandwidth play around with the priorities of that i for once have never really you know seen a need to use that so i leave it off but it's there if you decide to mess around with that and of course we have a key uh, mapping section here where you can choose to create macros or assign different shortcuts to that or remap them if you so prefer okay aside from that i believe the only other things mentioning here are just a few of these icons at the top as i mentioned this one here is a shortcut to the omen gaming hub overlay we have a home button which takes us to the home screen you can create an omen account as i mentioned earlier if you do that you can access additional things such as setting up profiles saving those profiles you know transporting them between pcs etc you have a tutorial here which will basically give you these little bubbles all over the screen so you can understand what you're doing on any particular page in the omen gaming hub software we have notifications as well and then finally if you go over to settings there's a few things here that are kind of neat worth pointing out and the notifications one is you have the notifications enabled where you get neat little overlay is to show you what's happening with your uh, omen gaming hub or shortcuts and of course you can choose between in-app desktop or just disable these all together under games here you've got a game time tracker which is nice i can do what you get from steam for example to know how long you've been playing a particular game uh, cumulatively and of course you have a platform linking feature here which you can use to link to all of your other uh, game launchers and basically compile all of your library into the omen gaming hub all right, I think that will about wrap it up. There's, you know, a lot of potential here. I'm quite excited to see what Omen AI is going to bring and the broader library of games that it's going to bring. Currently, it looks like it's going to be Apex Legends, Valorant, and a lot of other games, which are pretty much competitive online multiplayer or MOBA type of games. So let's see how this plays out through the year of 2025, perhaps even into 2026, and how far HP is able to take this AI feature. And of course, giving us the Unleash mode, thank you very much for HP, uh, to hp I really, really mean that. You know, there's few manufacturers that are selling gaming laptops that really, really understand what people who are buying these expensive laptops with so much power and performance want to be able to do with them, and that is control every single aspect it's it's more of a nitpick than a complaint is that we're starting to see a lot of tabs here that perhaps aren't necessarily if they could give us some way to perhaps hide these games and deals and shops tab for example if i'm never going to use that just give us using the settings feature and the ability to uh, toggle these off but of course that's why i said you know if you like you can just use the omen max overlay and then you don't have to see any of that stuff for the most part and you can toggle between your performance mode your fan speed and that's pretty much what you're going to be wanting to control all the time anyway and you can see a quick stats here of your uh, overall pc's performance controls all right well that's pretty much all that i have to say about the hp omen gaming hub uh, what are your thoughts? Did you purchase an HP Omen Max 16? Do you have an HP uh, gaming laptop from the last year? And uh, if you like my content, please click the subscribe button, click that like button, and click that notification bell so that you're the first to know when there's new content available here. And of course, as always, please check the description boxes. If you like my reviews, if you want to purchase any of these products, please use our affiliate links in the descriptions below. Oftentimes, you'll find they're accompanied with discounts for my user base here. So please use that as it really Really helps the channel grow so we can continue to bring you increased and more content like this in the near future thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video